No. Oh, new project time. New project. Yeah, couldn't much as I disliked this piece of crap blaster. It was oh, God damn it, Hasbro. It was only ten dollars, so I got a pair of them because I had a really cool idea while talking to my buddy Beaker. Actually, it was kind of his idea, but we, uh, you know, how it works in the community here. Everybody gets an idea, keep your project a secret, and when you fail, comes out. Uh, I really don't need to take the darts out, I guess. I just need to get this crap out of the box so I can start gutting it. I don't need anything but the internals. Throw away almost all this garbage. Probably they just pulled it out. It would have been much easier than going through all the razor crap and trying to carefully open it. Uh, don't matter. Let's not make the noob mistake this time. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> it's just thinking the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. If somebody were to tell me, if I'd be like, hey, where's the keg, man? Oh, it's over there. You know, I just need to take a single step. I'd probably punch him in their teeth. <laughs> Maybe the only difference between why wisdom and the guys of old is a couple hundred years. Maybe they were all just dicks. You know? I mean, think of some of the other sayings that, that came around. A stitch in time saves nine. Basically telling you, don't be lazy, you fat shit. <laughs> Get over there and do that. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah, but an apple a day could give you the poops, and you have to go to the doctor anyways. And nobody wanted to go to the doctor back then anyways. All they did was stick leeches on you. Imagine eating all those apples and getting leeches shoved up your wazoo. <laughs> Jesus! What a horrible treatment that is. Hey, Doc, how do you treat this? Well, I'll bend over, and, <laughs> and rubber gloves hadn't been invented yet. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a lovely way to egg this little segment, isn't it? You know, I suddenly realized that this thing is a failure. I probably should just post it anyways, because it'll be funny. Oh, what's that little flashing thing on there mean? No batteries. Oh, shit, I better start charging then. I ain't got to get much tape done if the battery dies, now, am I? Just because I haven't seen it yet, if anybody's curious what's actually on the inside of one of these, other than just your standard internet inside porn shot, it's nothing but a frickin' ball valve. I mean, look at that. That's all it is. Shitty, shitty, shitty plastic ball valve. Just pinched in there. Oh. The rings look good, though. Well, back to work and charging. All right, so we got success. I got the one part. Uh, where is this stupid button? There we go. That I need. Hopefully this won't be an utter failure. It was actually really easy to get loose here. You see my desk is stays relatively clean, which is pretty cool. Now, as it gets going, you'll see it gets shittier and shittier. All I really had to do was just separate that, and pretty much slides right out for the most part it kind of sticks like every other one of these stupid ones I've opened this back part here just seems to like doesn't want to let go I'm hoping I don't have to switch any of this out this is probably all going to be trash I mean I'll you know, harvest the screws and springs and come up with something maybe cut it way down and just make a large night finder plunger pistol out of it you know, like, like whack it right across here and just couple it because I, I, I 
hate staged air restrictors. Even this for my project is gonna be a problem. What the hell is that? Like, mm, mm, what are you? Hmm? I don't recognize you. I can't see who you are. Are you busy? Hmm. Requires thought. Maybe I should lick you. <laughs> I am perfectly awake. That makes it the worst part. Oh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Staged air restrictor crap. I hate it. I hate it, Hasbro. I hate it. 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 Stop with this shit. Anything but that. You know what? You can keep doing this. This. These little... Binky, yeah, so you little stinky, stinky spring to get rid of that shit because God knows this is gonna break down. Yeah, that that that's gonna hold the hold the hell up over all kinds of stress, right? And then this little guy's thing, because that's much better than a nice square box for the night finder. Why, why didn't I buy these? Oh yeah, I had a bright idea. Oh yeah, bright idea. Back to this guy again. <laughs> I should edit this crap out. Who knows? It's like two o'clock. I should be normal. Maybe this is normal. God. Oh. We have reached the point of no return. Or at least return spring. Any one of these little suckers go popping out of here. We gotta figure out. Well, maybe I can get the casements. I gotta set them down anyways. So, here's to it. Yeah, stay put, you little bastards. Alright. I kind of realize I don't need to keep this secret because nobody's gonna watch it anyways. You already gotta know what's going on. So, now the next trick is making a round peg fit a square hole. Gotta get these. Uh, my freaking tripod. That'd be nice. Gotta get this crap fit in here. It means I gotta rip this thing apart slowly. Because that's gonna fit. And that little hole is the air supply. Not, not that little hole. That's a screw hole. Or is that a screw hole? I mean, that's a leak. It's a tiny little leak hole. Oh, shit me. We're going to have to fix that. Since I'm not using that, I could probably actually hog that out. Make that a bit bigger so I could actually get more of that. Huh. I'm going to see how that fits on there the way it does. Maybe the next shot will be Dremel. <laughs> cool. All right. Now that I've got the little... light here. Nozzle whacked off. Bobby, quit whacking off. You know the, <laughs> I love that episode of Beavis and Butthead. Are you the two boys that have been whacking off in my trailer? In my tool shed? The trick is going to be to get this the lower half of the face. Get this onto here. Uh... It looks like there might be enough space in this circle thing here. Focus. Level. Make everybody seasick. To get this half circle, a curdle circle, in here. And all I gotta do is just put them together and then find the right angle to lay it up against this. And in theory, this is a quick mod. Day, two days. Now that I've said that, probably just fucked myself. <laughs> oh, my dad always had a couple of sayings. Not that he's, he's still around. Um, <laughs> one of which 
There's no good deed goes unpunished, which is like actually true, because any time to do something nice for someone, it usually comes back to bite you in the ass. Uh, I'll give you examples someday of my constant being nice. Uh, the other is no such thing as a five-minute job or no job too easy. Well, how many times have you started working on something? And all of a sudden, your little five-minute job turns into, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, next day. <laughs> it sucks, doesn't it? I just, it's not going to rain today. It just happens to be raining outside. Thank you, weatherman. Yeah, I wish I could lie at my job all the time and get paid like that. Well, I didn't go to college to point at a map. That's not there. So, hopefully, I didn't just put a nail in a coffin. Or at least start pulling my fingernails out. Get back to work here. Let's see what this turns out like. My neighbor next door is working on his stuff. This hammering is very annoying, although I can hardly hear it. The OCD in me just kind of wants to take care of it, you know. Anyways, I figured out that. <clears throat> Crap in a hat, man. Ugh. Just turn the overhead light on. Oh well, now I can't see a damn thing. This is what I got so far, and I, you know, I love the profile this thing gets when you take the uh, take the front barrel stuff off. It looks like so Halo cool for some reason. I don't, I don't play Halo. I don't play a lot of video games. Uh, Skyrim was like the only thing I really got into. Uh, Destiny with some friends, but honestly for first-person shooters. I played a lot of Doom, and I played a lot of Wolfenstein. And this, kind of, you know, this is a not... doesn't know how many times you change the pixels, or what you do. This is never new and innovating. Send your hate mail, because I'm probably going to get some. And online, online gaming. No, we're not going to get into that. Anyways, <laughs> it's just rambling on more and more in these things, aren't I? I'm, sh I'm filming this shortly after the uh, after my subscriber jump, thanks to uh, Walcom, and uh, <laughs> I'm just in a really good mood. It's awesome. So I figured I got to figure out where to hack these bits off in here, so I can get this set on here because I got this kind of hogged out, and it fits. But part of the problem I'm having is the holes here have a little bump in front of them that's, I don't know, like some kind of plunger dampening system or just something annoying. I, I'm not really sure what the hell they are. I, I think there's some kind of fitting thing. For, yeah, that's what they are. They're the overfits for the air restrictors here, the, that turn up little upside down T-shape. I can't cut them out. I want to cut them out, but I can't because not enough to get through, so I'm going to have to, like, pound on the epoxy, and then pound on the putty, and then do a lot of cleanup work on a whole bunch of little X's and things like that, and i got to figure out something to put in here. You could cliche it with a flashlight or some polycarb piece or something like that, which I, I might do, because i I got to protect all the gunk inside the gear in here, because you got that gear train. I don't want it all messed up. Okay, so we're going to hack and slash here and see how that turns out. Let's see if I'll leave the camera on for this one. Oh, where is my marker? I'm going to have to eventually take this thing and bathe all of it. And I'm a little worried about doing that because I don't want to get water down inside these. I'm already panicked enough about getting plastic inside the damn things while I'm doing this. So, let's see. Apparently, there's a little notch or something here, so we're going to go on the upside of the roll, right here, 
mark that. It's okay. And up over the top, to the top, to the other side. Bee, 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 bee. Oh, I hope Baker doesn't get mad at me for doing this. Hopefully he'll like it. And he won't kill me. He was working on something and I kind of suggested this. And he said he'd think about it, but he didn't uh, go for it. Now, if I end up stepping on his toes, I truly apologize. I mean, I don't want to step on anybody's toes for these things. I mean, you got to respect people's ideas for mods and you know I lost one I just get the whole thing where you kind of want to jump on an idea I, I lost one to Boba Lobo that's right Boba Lobo the your crossfire rebel guardian cut down I was uh, I went home and went to bed instead of cutting it into a pistol which means you probably had it done a couple of days before it went up but I would have been up there before. I would have been up there not before, but I wasn't up there. Well, I, I might have been up there before. Who knows? I mean, you could have gone home and gone to bed and not had it uploaded. I mean, kind of cool. I just took that bit out. But if you got an idea for a thing like that, jump on it. Go for it. Have some fun with it. Because you might as well. Uh, I'm going to turn this off for this because... I only got the one camera, and I'm a little panicked about cutting this thing to pieces and getting crap all over my lens. Because there's already dusties. Dusties on there, as there is. Hello, dusties. Hello. Cthulhu. Ah. <laughs> all right. Back in a minute. Focus. Whew. Just never dropped this thing. It's going to be a problem. All right, I gotta turn the overhead light on. You can't see shit. There. There we go. Hello, everybody. Not quite as cool, but it gives me an idea of what I'm going for. I just kind of hacked it back almost to the screw port. I'm gonna have to take it back a little bit further or open it up. That's for sure. Because I gotta get this in there. I'm a little worried about how far I can take this back and exactly what's holding this in. I'm not entirely sure. Well, there's my answer. It looks like there's a little shell hump right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little hump in the shell. Seems to be the only thing retaining this at this point. So, in theory... If I split out, ah, pointy as hell, I should be able to finagle and wiggle, wiggle it loose. Of course, I'm going to have to take the scraw at the top here. Let's do that. Ah, get an angle you guys can see. First, I turn my, ah, that's better. That was my problem. My monitor screen was all kinds of messed up. I'll push that open, and if I'm right, I gotta be real careful. Well, that looks like to be the only answer of what is holding that in. So, that's gonna be a problem to solve. We could always countersink a screw or something on the top up here or on the side. And that wouldn't do anything to it. I mean,. I don't need it anymore, I mean, honestly. I think I'll just figure it out. For now, I'm more concerned about getting getting this thing set together right. So we'll get this back on there. Get the screw back in. And I gotta do more hacking away. We do a lot of hacking away, don't we? We don't often plan for getting this stuff on there the way it's supposed to. Oh, that's gonna be weird. So. It has less clearance than I thought it was gonna. So I get it in there, it's gonna have this really... Oh, if I can even get it in camera like that. See, it's gonna be a really wide spread out the front with two angles. Like that. And that's that's gotta look pretty slick. I guess I could turn them upside down and go straight, but you get that big gap, it looks kinda stupid. I dig the angle thing. 
might be a little bit of a fit issue up against the other one but eh, we'll just fix that too you know why not you know just fix all of it that's what we do we fix and break and break and fix so I'm gonna grind more of this back and then come back in when I got some progress made on this thing all right guys peace out for cosmetics reasons I had to shave all the little nipples off and the screw posts and stuff and I was right it just kind of slides uh, well open mouth and start foot there we go right back in and I do have actually kind of solid but I can't glue that fast that's stupid so and I've said this before never got people sand your stuff I gotta take these edges off I'll make this remove it entirely but I do like the way that looks with that up there like that give me some more something to attach to no I can't do that huh. so I guess it's time for glue so glue time it is so remember when I said no job too easy <laughs> I didn't count on my own stupidity it's just something you should never count out of my own stupidity the plan was to have these sit in the front like this it's a nice angled thing what what I hadn't taken into account is that the end piece is exactly the same as the other one and if you don't know what that under what that means that means there's no left and right bend there's only a bend in one direction so when it sits on here like this on this side as the bend goes in this beautiful curve to the outside like that it just looks good the other side won't do that because it bends to the inside so I have successfully it actually looks a lot nicer for a glue fit that way but then I can't do it on the other side now can I <laughs> oh my god oh, I love screwing up literally waiting for glue to dry god why does this thing keep zooming in like this this is utterly annoying you back this thing up there all right so hopefully when I let my hand go it's not gonna fall apart as you can see it's got a cool little stagger edge to it which is neat I might actually oh god don't say it again see last time I said this I ran into a problem so I'm not gonna say it this time Take the labels off my glue. I can't remember if this is three minute or five minute epoxy. Literally sitting here watching the pile of glue I had left dry, judging if I'm going to be able to take my hand off of this thing and to be able to leave it go because it's still. I don't want to just release it and send it off because it'll fall apart. Now it sucked. And I got putty work and stuff to do yet. And God, I wish I could just glue it all together in one big piece. Because there's so much plastic on the outside of this thing that would make a great sticking point. Oh, and those air holes. Oh, Ooh, that was bad. I almost forgot about those. Okay, can't do that. Hopefully the other one will go on pretty cool. Maybe I'll get that one on there nicely. And then I'll have this. I 
nice looking thing like that. Only thing is what to call it. <laughs> I don't come up with the name, you guys are more than welcome to. Okay. Need to keep it straight up and down for the most part because it's uh, kind of still drawing. Real pain in the ass getting these stupid barrels straight. Uh, just did not want to glue. They're still not perfectly straight, but, well, that's all right. <laughs> that's quite all right because it's on. That's all that really matters to me at the moment. I can, I'm not going to go straighten them, but I can get them out. Got to let this putty dry up, and I can put the next layer up on it. And then I can start working on uh, how the hell I'm going to attach it. Because the first shot blew the, blew it off there. Pretty good. Not cool, not cool. Anyways, back to work, guys. Actually, you know what? No, no, not back to work yet. Not back to work yet. I want to keep showing you this. Because this was a real pain. <laughs> I got to figure out how to fill these holes in here, too. Ah, this is kind of a rambling-ass section. I got to quick give this stuff here a quick plug. Pay attention, makers of this. This stuff is cool. And it looks like it might be showing it backwards, but I think it's just my screen. I pick it up at Lowe's. My buddy Beaker gave it to me. I've tried all these other different putties in the 3M ones. This is the shit. This P EP200. It dries great. And it's the, the, the boat stuff is okay, but it's tacky and weird. This is actually dry enough. I think I can get another layer on it. So we're going to up a layer. And then I'm going to take a break from this because my office chair is so hard on my ass. So the newest problem is finding a way to attach the barrels to the upper part. Forgoing any warnings that I may have for myself, I'm going to use screws. And try to bullseye a very tiny section on the top of the blaster. There is a bridge where the screw goes in and if I hit it right I can put that in there if I don't I pierce the tank so we are about to find out how lucky I am Twice. I'm gonna get a screwdriver. I gotta learn to check if things are on camera a little better when I do this. Only could screw though. Get giddy. So I don't have a big selection of screws. I just have what I managed to siphon off of Busbees and things like that. So it's not like my options are well. Now give it oops. Give it a test. Oh Lord. It's hard on the hands. Not necessarily like the way that sounded. I left my other dart out the room. <laughs> uh oh. Oh boy. Ah, oh, here we go. Probably sounds okay. The air restrictor stuff. Let's take a look. Oh, that's like death. Oh, that works. Okay, cool. 
I just gotta do the other side and then that should hold it in there awesome so I got the holes on square as you can see the only thing I had to do was add a screw on each side of here now my intent was to hit the plate this thing uh, that used that that's holding everything together but I missed <laughs> Still works out though because you can see the screws here and here pass out in front. Uh, somewhere down the line, I'll probably add it to be a bar or something like that, but it's just not bad. Not to mention, it's got a slightly intimidating kind of crooked look to it, but it's all right. I mean, I dig it. Ain't that the point anyways? I mean, we built it to build it. Pretty cool. Yeah, jump a bunch of screws together here, fill some of the holes up, and do a final shot on it. And I'll probably call that a night. Ah, attempting to do some power. Dang it. Oh, I have scissors. <laughs> It's stupid. I'm <laughs> attempting to do some power mod here to this, and I think just like two wraps of this should probably be sufficient. I'm, I'm not real good at doing this whole tape seal stuff like this. I, especially this, this thing is just dripping with grease and nasty, ugly shit. Ugh. God, I should probably put a new spring on it, but I don't know what goes on there. Anybody knows what a good spring for this thing is, other than the Orange Mod Works crap? Let me know, I'd appreciate it. There's no up or down on this, okay, good. Oh, God, man, it's just a grease show. Oh, it still won't slide in. So much grease. So gross. Ugh, God. Dear nasty. Oh. So nasty. So nasty. Okay, I'm going to attempt I'm to get this thing back together and check a website and then well no I know what I'm getting for it but yeah see if it actually fits if I'm lucky the uh, 3d printed solid makes a makes a grip for the long for the rough cuts I'm lucky it'll fit if not you won't be seeing it but well you might be seeing it either way <laughs> I'm gonna find out oh get in there all right, um, before I curse and lose followers for bad language here, I'm going to shut this down. So we'll give you a quick little germ-style firing video here. Line this thing up. Give it a shot. And... Whee! It's going to wing out there. Yeah, not the strongest thing in the world, that's for sure, uh, needs, definitely needs a spring upgrade, so that seal's been upgraded though, if you guys like these kind of things, let me know, let me know what you think about this blaster in the comment box, uh, underneath all these video stuff, and give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you, you think I should melt it into fire and curse its very existence and I wasted three perfectly good blasters, hit me with a thumbs down or let me know what I've sinned. I appreciate all the comments I can get, even the ones that don't like me. This has been your friend Clowny. Peace.